hello guys uh, welcome to tech design thank you for subscribing and thank you for uh, uh, supporting to my channel so before going into today's topic i would like to tell you some important points so i have been receiving a lot of uh, uh, emails and comments uh, regarding uh, drafting videos and uh, some sheet metal components so i will definitely do the uh, videos on uh, sheet metal and drafting as well as i promised uh, i will be definitely giving complete uh, unigraphics knowledge uh, from the scratch so if you want to uh, need any uh, specific videos please comment in the section below definitely i'll try to uh, make one video on the requested comments or requested emails that's all guys keep on uh, watching my videos and uh, support me so that i can support you so let's start with the today's uh, uh, topic that is remastering for one of the clamp art so uh, as soon as this available here i'll just open this model it, you can see this is the model which i'm just going to show you today so as you know that uh, before going into any modeling uh, for uh, remastering or parameter modeling let us create uh, uh, datum planes for that so go to datum planes and uh, create three datum planes uh, which are here i'll just uh, increase the size of this and click apply similarly i have to create it on the two planes as well so these are my two data planes and here is the one more data plane okay click okay now as you can see here uh, this is must and should uh, you can follow any other method as well but i prefer to have this uh, three data planes when you are doing the parametric modeling or uh, any remastering component because if you create the three uh, data planes it will not be having any associativity with the parent body so as you can see here parent body is not highlighted so it, it is not having any dependencies so it is must and should you need to create any datum plane or coordinate axis which is not having any associativity with the parent body so now let us go to the sketch and i'll just select this plane click ok now as you know that uh, when i go into the sketcher and moment i'll just uh, project the curves so go to project and start projecting the curves which I need to make an extrude. So here are the outer edges. Always make sure that you are uh, selecting a proper edges because since you have an edge blend on the corners, so you may end up with the uh, incorrect uh, edges. So please make sure that you are selecting the uh, right edges. So once you select all the edges, you can click OK and uh, the project curves will be projected on my sketch plane. So as you can see here, three sketch, three uh, uh, you know uh, lines we have been uh, uh, projecting. So these are the three, and let us click OK. So I will just create a line here uh, in order to close this uh, profile. So this is my one curve, and I would like to make a one more curve here so why i am doing a curve here at this point is because we have a curvature here if you draw a line it will cross our model so now we can just hide this uh, body just right click and hide here select the body and hide it so now i want to extend these uh, lines until this point so to do that i'll press e for extension and select these points sorry lines so it will be extended until the next point as you can see here okay this is done we need to uh, trim these extra portions so press t for the trimming and trim these extra portions and here as well so now you can see here my sketch is completely closed so whenever you are doing a solid modeling you should have the sketch uh, completely closed otherwise you will end up with the sheets now let us sh before showing it to that i'll just extrude these portions so i'm just going to select a single curve and stop at intersection since it is there are too many curves see as you can see here until and unless this is opened curve you are going to create a sheet here once this is closed it will be automatically taking into solids 
so now it is closed and here we have a solid and click ok now we will not be worrying about the uh, extruded length so let us take the extruded length at the end now again I am just going to select one more curve here to extrude there are two walls in our model so those two walls can be made in a single way that is the reason I am just uh, you know taking two okay I think something is missing here so let me select the extrude again I think there are two lines. Let me go into this end. Okay, we have only single line. Go to extrude and please select the stop at intersection. Okay. Now we have a solid here so I'm just going to extrude it a little bit more so that we can have a difference between the previous extrude switch it on okay now as you can see here this is one extrude and this is the second extrude and it is not ignited yet so let us show this model as you can see here um, I'll just hide it to make you understand as you can see here we have one wall here which is with uh, some extrude and we have one more wall over here so this is having a different uh, extrude length so uh, to make it um, just extruded uh, two features so now let us go into the sketch uh, sorry extrude and uh, let us make it to 3 mm as you can see here three at 3 mm you can see the faces are both the faces are uh, uh, you know coinciding each other so let us make it on the same side same on the other side as well so I'll just reduce you can do in two methods if you check it in my previous videos I'm just measuring it these values and I'm just uh, giving the values so either you can do like that or else this is the easiest way if the if the component is not uh, uh, you know if it is not completely a uh, complex you can just make it by use this method okay now I have a second uh, extrude here so the same way I'm just going to do it for this as well so definitely I'll be giving some extra tips on each and every uh, tutorials it is better you need to you know, uh, watch my all the videos so that uh, it will get a different different ways to approach it in every model okay so that's it you can see here there are two walls which are being already you know modeled and we have a sketch over here this uh, cylinder so let us create a cylinder here and uh, let me project okay now this is my projected curves I want to complete this circle so I'm just going to select the curve and center center point circle so I'm just selecting this center and this is my point so now we have a two curves here so let us delete one of the arc so we have complete circle here in all my um, you know remastering uh, tutorials or videos uh, I'll not be uh, con fully constraining every sketches so it is left to you you can just uh, make it fully constrained because once I start uh, fully constraining each and every curves it will take a lot of time either we can do uh, automatic uh, manual constraint or else we have an option here automatic constraint we can give that automatic constraint as well if you want so in the same way I'm just going to the other side as well as you can see here um, this side it is done and we are left with only this uh, feature and as well as the center feature now this is the end of the first video guys uh, please uh, Check out my second video for a complete uh, remastering of this model. Thank you.